Today's job is on the bitty. Stuff this anti corrosive paint. What a beautiful morning on the Leicester summit, still just shy of Foxton near Molesley. Today's job is on the bitty to remove that bullseye, which I've tried with a screwdriver in the past, so we're gonna have to drill everything out, I think, because we've got corrosion coming up around it. Look. So we need to get that bullseye removed, get it all cleaned up, and give it a fresh coat of red. So yeah, that's today's job. And you can see the corrosion around there. Next job's get that all cleaned up. Just in case you wondered, I managed to wedge the bin up underneath with a broom handle, stop all the crap going in it. I'll show you in a minute when we go inside. Right, let's go and get the big boys. There we go, look, we've got the bin. Got the broom, and a windlass, because it wasn't quite tall enough. Where's the bin at the roof? That'd clear the mess on the outside, wouldn't it? It's coming up as you can see, it's a bit of a messy job. The overalls are there more to stop the mess spreading around too much. That's a bit better. Cleaned all that mess up. All around there, look. Got rid of all that rust, got it around the edge. Leave everything a good clean up now. We'll have to clean the um, clean the bullseye up. It's on there, look, we're taking it off. Our one's cleaning up the other side of it. It's all covered in crud. Lay it back in place. Drill and tap all these holes. So we know we can fix it back on. Then we'll put that to one side. Get some uh, primer in here. Got some anti-corrosive primer. Get some of that in here. Get some undercoat in here. And then we'll flat the old roof down and give the whole roof a, a fresh coat because it needs it. So yeah, we're making progress. Now because they're all, all a bit of a mess and there was a lot of corrosion and we've had to drill them out initially, what I'm doing is I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees and then we've got some, some brand, I was going to say brand new steel, but we haven't. We've got some better steel to drill and tap into and we can start again with our um, tapping in our threads to bolt them on so we know we've got it on right. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, last one. Five mil drill bit, M6 tap, and away we go. Now, unfortunately, although I thought I had, I haven't got enough 
spruce. I mean, can I find two? I've got some more somewhere. So that's why I've just popped these in for a minute, just to hold it all in place while I get them all drilled and tapped. Because I want to get this, uh, try and get a bit of paint on here today. Well, some rush treatment on here today anyway. Um, so yeah, that's why I've done that, in case you was wondering. But yeah, that's the M6 tapping there. You work them in a little bit, back them off a little bit. Work them in, back them off initially till it goes. You can feel it, don't force it. Sometimes a spot of oil, but I haven't needed any oil on here today. And that's it, perfect. He's done. There you go. Yeah, I held it into in place with those two. And then we've done them just so that's all sorted out. Happy days. Now I'm gonna take that off. Now I know where it is, it's marked it so I know which way around they go because sod's law if you put it one way or another way ain't gonna line up. Get that off, get this roof cleaned down, as in all the drillings and one thing and another. Put a bit of primer on. Good stuff this, anti-corrosive paint as well. That treats it as well. Although we've cleaned it all up and got rid of it. So we should be good. We'll get a couple of coats of this on. And then we'll flat the old roof off and give the old roof a freshen up. Bit of a different day today. A bit damp, misty, it's all dripping off the trees. Lovely and peaceful. But luckily we got this paint on yesterday and now it just leaves the bullseye to be resealed into the roof which I've just masked up ready for sealer and to screw it in. And that's good because it's due to rain again tomorrow. We've got two coats of paint on there in the end. It's a bit damp as you can see, I've been crawling around on there just masking up ready for the sealer. But let's get it sealed up and that's it, we're weatherproof again, happy days. Right, let's get some sealer on the old gal. That's the cars tooting as they go over the bridge behind me in case you wondered. And it is that, we'll have plenty. I'll seal about it now. Da, 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 da. Just line them holes up. So there's our marker. So I know the marker goes just there. There we go. Look at that. Let's get, screw, let's get the screw started. I'd rather get the screw started than push it down because um, you need a bit of wiggle room then. You've still got it in you. It's all sort of floating at the minute. Come on, baby. There we go. I'll tell you what, my fingers are cold. Crazy. You can't think I've been painting the last couple of days. I'm in chilly this morning. There we have it. Nicely in, nicely sealed. Let's get that slide put back on properly now. That's the next job. We've got a new one made. That's ready to get painted and go on there now. That's the butt all finished off. 
crikey there's a change in the weather this morning it's really damp and cold a few people out boating beautiful right let's go and see what the next job is shall we hope you like this one give us a thumbs up if you're watching and you haven't subscribed please click that subscribe button it helps us in youtube no end and please comment let's chat about it until the next one see you later ta -da.